This vote today comes less than a week after the council killed the head tax, and there is some discussion at City Hall. This may have been the reason why. It's a big ask that comes with a big promise. The future I I stacked them. can be seen in classrooms like this today in Seattle in more ways than one. We try to give kids open-ended problems to solve. Um, we try to um, engage their cognitive skills. Kids in pre-K in a program that can hold up to 80 children, paid for by Seattle levy dollars. Kids need to have good thinking skills, and they need to have not just have rote thinking skills. They need to be able to problem solve for themselves. It is part of an effort which could be expanded if voters approve the nearly $620 million families in education levy. Will the clerk please call the roll? The council approved the property tax measure for the ballot this afternoon, a measure which also includes providing community college tuition for Seattle high school grads. Is there any concern with the size of this levy that, that perhaps Seattle voters have finally reached their limit and are taxed out and will say no in you the know, fall? That's a good question. We think about this as a very modest levy, uh, but a critical one. This uh, would result in about an additional 10 bucks a month for most average property holders in the city. Council member Rob Johnson, a proponent, acknowledges the recent city reversal on the head tax may influence discussion of the topic. The uh, vote to repeal the head tax last week certainly creates a uh, better conversation for us to have with the voters this November. About Seattle Mayor Jenny Durkin. Was there some concern that the education levy, which has been a centerpiece of your campaign and of your administration, would have been derailed if the head tax went to a vote this fall? I have great confidence in the voters of Seattle knowing the importance of education. And while you always have that concern, we have always historically supported education. This class may be in jeopardy if the tax talk outweighs other concerns. So that we have the materials, so that we have the equipment that kids need. We'll know in November just what the future holds. Johnson said if the measure passes, at least 1,000 new kids could have access to early childhood education each year. Reporting for the King 5 Newsroom, I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.